Jason. Super easy to do. All right, so we got a lot going on here. Both TV rooms are going, so we're gonna try and record this recipe right now. I'm not sure it's gonna go that great because wife's watching TV in one room, kids are watching TV in the other room, so we're probably gonna get a lot of background noise, but that's all right, we'll just deal with it and we'll go with it. So let's take a look at the ingredients and then we'll start cooking. All right, this is what we got. Cinnamon raisin bread, a little vanilla extract, cinnamon, egg whites. That's it, that's what we're gonna put in there. Let's get started. All right, so we get our extra anabolic ingredient with our egg whites. We're gonna put in 276 grams onto our food scale, pouring it in. Almost there. 276 exactly, magical pour. Vanilla extract next. Five grams of this going in. Done there. And there's my daughter interrupting, as was expected. Yep, yeah, I'll get you a pear. We don't have any pears actually, but an apple. Apple. All right, apple, please. Five grams of the cinnamon going in. Twenty-second timeout to get my daughter an apple. All right, daughter's got her apple. A sweetener. Got to put some of that in there. Need five grams of this. Zero calories going in. Zero off the scale because it shut off. All right. Five grams exactly. Good. So we got our vanilla extract in there. We got our cinnamon in there. We have the sweetener in there. Next, we gotta whisk it all up. Get our whisk. Done, everything's mixed up. We're gonna go for our bread. We're gonna use four slices. It's about 150 grams total. Four slices going in. Kids are yelling, watching their show. All right. So now we just wanna get the mixture all absorbing into all the bread, so we're just gonna dunk it a little bit in there. And we're gonna let that soak up for about a minute, then we're gonna flip them over. Okay, it's been about a minute, so we're just gonna flip the bread over. Let the other side soak in. All right, and we're gonna give that a minute to do its thing. And while we're waiting for the bread to soak in, we're gonna spray our pan with a little bit of non-stick spray. Just a little bit there. So we shall preheat the pan, get it going. Medium low heat, get it going then. All right, okay. Another 30 seconds, we should be good to go on putting the toast on there. All right, so we've got our bread pretty well soaked up. All that mixture in there, Oop, a little bit spilled in. That's all right, we're gonna have to pour it over the bread anyway, so now we're just gonna divide this up into four quadrants for our four pieces of bread. Awesome, super simple. We got our bread there, and then we're just gonna finish off the rest of the mixture. We don't wanna miss any of the protein and the egg whites. Just pour it over. It's basically not all gonna absorb. It's gonna spill over, and we're gonna end up folding it on top of the toast after it cooks for a little bit. We got the pan pretty well preheated, so we're just gonna let this cook up, and then we're gonna flip it over in a couple minutes. See how those egg whites are cooking up. I'm just gonna do a little slice in the middle here. And we're gonna divide again using our quadrants. Basically wanna have this in the fourths. Just about ready to flip. Sometimes the edges are a little slower than the middle part to cook, but this one seems to be doing just fine. Get the edges so that they're ready to come right up when we decide to flip. Right, we're going to do our far far left quadrant here, flipping it over. This side already 
bond up nice there. You might have to flip them a couple times to make sure it's all cooked. But pretty simple recipe. Just working out well with our fourths. Cooking up nicely. So you do get a little bit of extra egg white. We probably could have left it in there in the bowl to absorb a little bit longer, but it's all going to the same place anyway. Alright, I'll let these cook up for a couple more minutes. Might do one more flip and we should be good. Let's do a check, see how the other side's browning up. Well, I think we're going to be good. Put these over real quick. Oh yeah, it's all pretty well cooked. Some of the edges here need a little bit more, so... I'm just going to flip it back over. Kind of press down on the edge a little bit with that cook up. Alright, so we'll do the same thing on these, just so they're even all around. That needs about another 20 or 30 seconds. And this is going to be done. All right, this is finished. We're going to take them off the pan, move them into our meal prep container here. One more. All right, let's take them over to here. All right, move our scale out of the way. All right, so I like to kind of stand them up on the sides here. It'll cool a little bit faster because this is actually breakfast for tomorrow. So I'm going to throw it in the refrigerator. And that's it. That's simple. Done and done. We have breakfast. I'll throw up the macros right here. That's what's in it. Nice filling, satisfying breakfast all ready to go for tomorrow. Boom. Done. And that's it. Super easy to do. The bread slices have about 80 calories each in them. So it's actually less than the regular white bread. So it's pretty good, but another way to flavor up your anabolic French toast is just change up the bread. Macros are basically the same, it's actually less calories and you get a little different flavor, just like that. And that's it, breakfast tomorrow, finished.